welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you a little issue I had with my spoon and how I solved it so the thing is as you can see the center hole of my spoon is is larger than the spoon hole itself it has a large diameter than the spoon itself so sometime when I move the printer it the spool tends to fall out just like this and fall down and sometimes it's not really very interesting and I've decided to solve this issue and I'm going to show you how I did so the first thing I did is to print these three elements Okay, now what I'm going to do, I take my spool holder, I take one of these here, and I split it into two, and I insert it on the spool holder, just like this. Okay, now I have it on my spool holder. Next step. I place my spool you see I place my spool on the spool holder then I take the second one here and I split it into two and I insert it inside the spool I have my second clip here then I take this one that will prevent the spool from moving from this part to this part because of this space I just place it then I press the clip okay it's done now I can mount my spool back That's all. Here we go. You can see it is blocked here and here. There is a small gap here to, that prevents the spool from moving, and the spool is no longer falling down. It can no longer, it no longer fall down because it is blocked by this by this uh, thing here. Okay, I have put back my spool, and now you can see here. It is stopped by this ring. It will no longer fall down as at the very beginning. And here, this ring also is preventing the spool from moving side to side because I removed the string, uh, the, the, the small string that was here. Now I put this one back. Just make sure that it's no longer moving. It's fitting correctly and it's no longer. Uh, it will no longer fall down. It's moving freely. It's moving.